Hi everybody. Uh, during the uh, Hona handmade marine band comb to make the heart more airtight, um, why why all these problems with the marine band comb? Can you see that one? Just check that. Level at the bottom. Look, look. It's grown. It's grown. It's growing. It's not yet dead. Look at the uh, the distortion on the uh, on the tines. Um, although I don't like them, I have to say that the MS comb is much much better. Um, this one is destined to become part of a handmade marine band. Um, different covers. It's something. It's a project that I'm I'm going to start. Uh, again. Like a sponge, look, soaks up moisture like you wouldn't believe. Okay, so that's why we seal the combs, or I seal the combs, and a lot of other people do as well. Um, well while I have this comb here, I can show you why it's so difficult to, or not impossible, if I can get it the right way, to use a nut on the back of these should you screw a reed in. Read in. Um, it's mostly easy. To, I don't know if you can see. Let's bring that up. How little room there is there, and the where the rivet goes through the reed plate, it actually sits there. So you've got no room to put a nut. Should you have tried screw, you can you can get reeds for these from Harp Online, so you can rivet the original reeds back in. But should you screw one and uh, your, your thread doesn't take properly. What you can do is use, sorry, I'm away, one of these. There are various uh, bits that go in here, and what you can do is just, sorry, let's get this in shot, relieve that in there and give room for the nut. I wouldn't recommend it because there's not a great deal of room, but if, you, if you're really stuffed, that is one way of getting out of it, and then you can get a nut on the back. But <coughs> excuse me, I wouldn't recommend it. You're really weakening the comb. Anyway, back to uh, back to doing this. Okay, you want to drill this without breaking the tines. I think you will need a drill on a stand. You know the type of thing. You put the drill in, pull the lever down. The drill runs up and down. Um, I wouldn't try. I wouldn't attempt to do this freehand. I draw the reed plates freehand, the reeds, but um, I wouldn't attempt to do this freehand. Okay, the sister. I, I don't say this is the way to do it, but it's the only way I found of doing it that um, that doesn't break the uh, doesn't break the times. And uh, to me, it wasn't obvious. I hope to somebody who this seems obvious doesn't think I'm being condescending showing this, but. Uh, the way I do it is to strip, strip the comb just to the wood, put it under the drill. I don't try and mark these up. They're so narrow, I can never get them, uh, mark them well. And if you put a square on there, these times twist all over the place, etc., etc. So I literally do this by eye. Once I draw, I draw through times seven and seven and three. Put more on if you want, but I find that's normally enough. Once you've drilled the comb, using your pins, fix the reed plate back on. One reed plate. Using the pins. Again, put this back on onto the uh, onto the drill. Pull your drill down, just marking. Go through the, the wood where you drilled the hole, just enough to mark the reed plate. Don't try and drill right through it. Because the drill flex when you get into the metal, bite into the metal, because the very thin drills, and that's when you ping the tine off. So you drill through there, you've already drilled it, you go through there and you just mark the reed plate. So you're now, where are we? You're now like this. Take the reed plate off, take it off the comb, you marked the plate with the drill, tip of the drill bit, you take it off the comb, you can drill that reed plate. Then do the same with the drawer plate. 
when you do the draw plate, when you've got the draw plate fixed on the comb, obviously the reeds are facing down. It doesn't make it a very stable surface. A piece of thickish cardboard that you can press into I'll, I'll make this nice and flat and stable and you can do the same thing. So again, you fix the bottom replay on with a few pins. Go through the hole you've already drilled in the time and just mark the reed plate. Don't attempt to drill right through while it's fixed onto the, uh, onto the comb. Take the reed plate off. Now you can drill through and complete drilling through. And you can put it all back together. I do two at the back as well. Sorry, I forgot about that. Do them at the same time. Now you can put it back together and bolt it. That's the only one I've found. I've broken quite a few uh, combs. Um, the way I just uh, showed you there is the only one I've found to do it without breaking the tines. You've got to be careful. I would not recommend doing it without a drill stand. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a cold. On to a couple of other things. Um, I did show in another video. Um, uh, across half half bad covers, and uh, I just thought I'd show you how I paint the covers. If you look, uh, let's see if we can get this into focus somewhere. I just fix them on a piece of wood and just angle these so they're held nice and steady. But if you can see, I let the front hang over. That means I can get some paint. It's this edge that they tend to grow away from. It means I can get some paint in under there. Um, as you can see, they, they come up really well. I'm pretty convinced that the original finish on the black owner plates is a powder coating because it doesn't react to a paint stripper. So I just flat these down with a bit of wet and dry, a couple of coats of primer, three coats of top coat. There's a couple of sets of um, cross heart plates there waiting to be stripped off. What else have I got? Yes. If you're going to screw reeds in, Different manufacturers, the, the hole here in the reed is never is never central. Consequently, if you try and rivet, uh, say, a herring reed into a honer, you might find that when you put the rivet through, that this reed is out of line, out of alignment with the slot in the reed plate. You might have a gap this side and an overlap this side. This is why I don't rivet uh, you know, different manufacturers' reeds into different manufacturers' plates. I drill and screw them. And the idea is that by over drilling this, you're only drilling a 1.3 or 1.4 through the plate to cut the threading. But this, I will drill to 1.8 or 2 mil. Consequently, when it's over the slot, you can move the reed about and line it up with the, with the slot in the reed plate. What else have I got? Uh, this is uh, an MS, or was an MS uh, Hona Marine Band. Um, don't particularly like them, and I wonder what I could do with them. I've sealed the comb, resealed it, extra two bolts through the front. Cover plates are deteriorated badly. Why do Hona plates deteriorate so much? I don't know. Other manufacturers don't suffer from that. Even the cheapos like Jambone and Murano. Um, they don't 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 have this problem, but um, I can't remember that I chose any reeds in this. Yes, I did. I did a four draw, but uh, not a bad harp. I did this one for a friend of mine who's who's starting out. Um, Soon I have a special 20, so I'll put it on the amp. It doesn't play too bad, it's certainly a lot better than it was from Node. It's okay. Anyway, I've got to go. Uh, the clock's ticking. I hope that's uh, some useful information for you, but be careful doing those replates and drilling those cones.